Hello there! We are done with another harvest so might as well share with you guys how I clean my hydroponics foam. These are just regular foam. Uh, you might have seen this from my other video already. Uh, after we harvest all the plants it's really simple how to clean your foam. You just remove everything yes remove everything dump in, dump, dump them all in a basin and we're just gonna soak them in hot water uh, that's a really simple way to disinfect uh, the foam uh, it's a way of sterilizing the foam and making them ready for the next use uh, see uh, what I like about foam is they are really cost effective you can use them over and over again I've been believe it or not I've been using this foam for nine months or ten months already so if you're thinking using foam for your hydroponics is costly think again one foam eight months I don't think you can do that with other mediums like rock wool or coco peat. So, when you're gonna think about uh, cost effectiveness, I will always recommend foam. Uh, after your, after you have gathered everything from your system, the next step you do is get some hot water. I'm still boiling my water there so we can just continue doing this. See, see? So simple, just pull away, pull away everything, pull away everything until you're left with just the bare foam and your net pot, put them all together and we sterilize them in one go. Simple. Then, what we do, we add hot water. Uh, this is not really boiling, uh, just, yeah, I think it's boiling already, so this is fine. I've been doing this for eight, nine months already, almost a year. The reusability of foam is just uh, what I love about it. And we just let it sit like this for... 10 15 minutes and we're done we can use it again and ready for the next transfer and that's just about it i was just sharing how to clean them you just after the water cools down a bit and you can touch it with your bare hands you just squeeze the the foam to get rid of all the roots and dirt in between just squeeze it like that uh, maybe I'll show you later after the water cools down a bit and we'll skip to that. Okay, the water has cooled down now. Uh, well, still hot but just hot enough or manageable enough so we can uh, rinse the foam properly. Of course, we have to rinse our net pots first with the hot water then we'll then we're gonna, of course, rinse them with cold water because we don't want uh, hot material like uh, hot foam touching our seedlings. So before transfer, make sure that they are cooled down. And uh, now that we have made space, I'll just demonstrate just for a little bit how to clean this. Just keep squeezing them and that's just about it simple squeezing uh, squeeze out the dirt and uh, leftover materials from the uh, last plants uh, from the previous plants and that's just about it uh, of course you have to put <laughs> to put them in a clean container and 
maybe uh, we'll just end the video here I'm just gonna get a container where I can put this and and uh, afterwards I'm gonna transfer my new seedlings but I have already shown you that in the previous video so we'll end it here and this is how you clean your foam for reuse after each harvest and thank you happy planting